This is Gavotte in G minor by Bach in the Suzuki Book 3. Really, when you study this, there are only three sections, A, B, and C. So that's what we'll do, um, and then up to tempo for each one. But I won't do a playthrough of the whole song. So here's the A section. You start with a little crescendo, and be careful of your fingering. G minor fingering. G minor scale, so. Get soft on that last note. Your turn. Okay, and then a nice big sound. There, your turn. Then you pick up with the second half of the A section. And end softly, then big sound. And that little mordant. Decorates the A. So then I'll join the whole A section together. phrase, make sure that you have a little breath. Then the B section also starts with a little crescendo, and these all start with an up bow. Careful of your intonation and how you do your fingers. Half step. Try that. Then a little bit faster. That's tricky for most people because you have to tuck your third finger right next to the fourth finger for a half step. Then the next part is a little tricky for rhythm because the bowing is strange. So first practice it as a perpetual motion like this. Try that. And then down, up, up, down, down. it by getting a little softer. Okay, then we have the same thing. And then a pivot with your first finger from F natural to B flat. And again another little I'm going to join the B section up now. And that's followed by another A section. Then we have a contrasting C section. accidental C sharp. So a half step away. So that C sharp is an accidental stays through this C section. Then it repeats. And softly. Here's the C section all joined up. And the song 
point ends with an A section. I will end it for you. Oh, and I meant to say that um, a gavotte is in two, so each of this group of four eighth notes counts as one beat, so two e and a one and a two, and that's the feel of it. Enjoy learning this piece, it's so beautiful. The end. <laughs>